A near-Earth object Neo is any small solar system body whose orbit can bring it into proximity with Earth. By convention, a solar system body is a Neo if its closest approach to the Sun perihelion is less than 1.3 AU if a NEO's orbit crosses the Earth's and the object is larger than 140 meters (460 feet) across, it is considered a potentially hazardous object. Fa. Most known FOS and NEOs are asteroids, but a small fraction are comets. There are over 18,000 known near-Earth asteroids (NEOs), over a hundred short-period near-Earth comets (NECs), and a number of solar-orbiting spacecraft and meteoroids large enough to be tracked in space before striking the Earth. It is now widely accepted that collisions in the past have had a significant role in shaping the geological and biological history of the Earth. NEOs have become of increased interest since the 1980s because of greater awareness of the potential danger some of the asteroids or comets pose. When impacting the Earth, asteroids as small as 20 meters cause sufficiently strong shock waves and heat to damage the local environment and populations. Larger asteroids penetrate the atmosphere to the surface of the Earth, producing craters if they hit ground and tsunamis if water bodies are hit. It is in principle possible to deflect asteroids, and methods of mitigation are being researched, based on the orbit calculations of identified NEOs. Their risk of future impact is assessed on two scales, the Torino scale and the more complex Palermo scale, both of which rate a risk of any significance with values above zero. Some NEOs have had temporarily positive Torino or Palermo scale ratings after their discovery, but as of March 2018, more precise calculations based on subsequent observations led to a reduction of the rating to or below zero in all cases. Since 1998, the United States, the European Union, and other nations are scanning for NEOs in an effort called SpaceGuard. The initial U.S. Congress mandate to NASA of cataloging at least 90% of NEOs that are at least 1 km miles in diameter, which would cause a global catastrophe in case of an impact with Earth, had been met by 2011. In later years, the survey effort has been expanded to objects as small as about 140 meters (460 feet) across, which still have the potential for large-scale, though not global, damage. Due to their Earth-like orbits and low surface gravity, NEOs are easy targets for spacecraft. As of August 2018, five near-Earth comets and three near-Earth asteroids have been visited by spacecraft, and probes are en route to two more Nice. Plans to mine Nice commercially have been drafted by private companies. <laughs> Definitions Near-Earth objects NEOs are small solar system bodies with orbits around the Sun that by definition lie partly between 0.983 and 1.3 astronomical units o, sun -Earth distance away from the Sun. Thus, NEOs are not necessarily currently near the Earth, but they can potentially approach the Earth relatively closely. When a NEO is detected, like all other small solar system bodies, it is submitted to the International Astronomical Union's IAU's Minor Planet Center MPC for cataloging. MPC maintains separate lists of confirmed NEOs and potential NEOs. The orbits of some NEOs intersect that of the Earth, so they pose a collision danger. These are considered potentially hazardous objects FOS. For the asteroids among FOSS, the potentially hazardous asteroids PHAs, MPC maintains a separate list. NEOs are also catalogued by two separate units of the Jet Propulsion Laboratory JPL of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration NASA, the Center for Near-Earth Object Studies CNEOS, and the Solar System Dynamics Group. PHAs are currently defined based on parameters relating to their potential to approach the Earth dangerously closely. Mostly objects with an Earth minimum orbit intersection distance MOID of 0.05 astronomical units or less and an absolute magnitude of 22.0 or brighter, a rough indicator of large size, are considered PHAs. Objects that cannot approach closer to the Earth, i.e. MOID, than 0.05 astronomical units, 7,500,000 kilometers, 4,600,000 miles, or are smaller than about 140 meters, 460 feet in diameter, i.e. h equals 22.0 with assumed albedo of 14%, are not considered PHAs. NASA's catalog of near-Earth objects also includes the approach distances of asteroids and comets expressed in lunar distances. 
History of human awareness of NEOs The first near-Earth objects to be observed by humans were comets. Their extraterrestrial nature was recognized and confirmed only after Tycho Brahe tried to measure the distance of a comet through its parallax in 1577, and the periodicity of some comets was recognized in 1705, when Edmund Halley first published his orbit calculations for the returning object now known as Halley's Comet. The 1758–1759 return of Halley's Comet was the first comet appearance predicted in advance. The first near-Earth asteroid to be discovered was 433 Eros in 1898. The asteroid was subject to several observation campaigns, because measurements of its orbit enabled a precise determination of the distance of the Earth from the Sun in 1937. Asteroid 69230 Hermes was discovered when it passed the Earth at twice the distance of the Moon. Hermes was considered a threat because it was lost after its discovery, thus its orbit and potential for collision with Earth were not known precisely. Hermes was rediscovered in 2003 and is now known to be no immediate threat. On June 14, 1968, the 1.4 kilometers diameter asteroid 1566 Icarus passed Earth at a distance of 0.042482 astronomical units, 6,355,200 kilometers, or 16 times the distance of the Moon. During this approach, Icarus became the first minor planet to be observed using radar, with measurements obtained at the Haystack Observatory and the Goldstone Tracking Station. This was the first close approach predicted years in advance. Icarus had been discovered in 1949, and also earned significant public attention, due to alarmist news reports. A year before the approach, MIT students launched Project Icarus, devising a plan to deflect the asteroid with rockets in case it was found to be on a collision course with Earth. Project Icarus received wide media coverage, and inspired the 1979 disaster movie Meteor, in which the U.S. and the USSR join forces to blow up an Earth bound fragment of an asteroid hit by a comet. On March 23, 1989, the 300 m diameter Apollo asteroid 4581 Asclepius 1989 FC missed the Earth by 700,000 km. If the asteroid had impacted it would have created the largest explosion in recorded history, equivalent to 20,000 megatons of TNT. It attracted widespread attention because it was discovered only after the closest approach. In March 1998, early orbit calculations for recently discovered asteroid 35396-1997 XF11 showed a potential 2028 close approach 0.00031 astronomical units, 46,000 kilometers from the Earth, well within the orbit of the Moon, but with a large error margin allowing for a direct hit. Further data allowed a revision of the 2028 approach distance to 0.0064 astronomical units, 960,000 kilometers, with no chance of collision. By that time, inaccurate reports of a potential impact had caused a media storm. Topic: <laughs> Risk. From the late 1990s, a typical frame of reference in searches for NEOs has been the scientific concept of risk. The risk that any near-Earth object poses is viewed having regard to both the culture and the technology of human society. Through history, humans have associated NEOs with changing risks, based on religious, philosophical or scientific views, as well as humanity's technological or economical capability to deal with such risks. Thus, NEOs have been seen as omens of natural disasters or wars, harmless spectacles in an unchanging universe, the source of era-changing cataclysms or potentially poisonous fumes during Earth's passage through the tail of Halley's Comet in 1910, and finally as a possible cause of a crater-forming impact that could even cause extinction. The potential of catastrophic impacts by near-Earth comets was recognized as soon as the first orbit calculations provided an understanding of their orbits. In 1694, Edmund Halley presented a theory that Noah's flood in the Bible was caused by a comet impact. Human perception of near-Earth asteroids as benign objects of fascination or killer objects with high risk to human society has ebbed and flowed during the short time that NEES have been scientifically observed. 
Scientists have recognized the threat of impacts that create craters much bigger than the impacting bodies and have indirect effects on an even wider area since the 1980s, after the confirmation of a theory that the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event in which dinosaurs died out 65 million years ago was caused by a large asteroid impact. The awareness of the wider public of the impact risk rose after the observation of the impact of the fragments of comet Shoemaker Levy 9 into Jupiter in July 1994. In 1998, the movies Deep Impact and Armageddon popularized the notion that near-Earth objects could cause catastrophic impacts. Also at that time, a conspiracy theory arose about the supposed 2003 impact of the fictitious planet Nibiru, which persisted on the Internet as the predicted impact date was moved to 2012 and then 2017. Topic. Risk scales There are two schemes for the scientific classification of impact hazards from NEOs. The simple Torino scale, which rates the risks of impacts in the next 100 years according to impact energy and impact probability, using integer numbers between 0 and 10, and the more complex Palermo Technical Impact Hazard Scale, which ascribes ratings that can be any positive or negative real number, these ratings depend on the background impact frequency, impact probability, and time until possible impact. On both scales, risks of any concern are indicated by values above zero. The annual background frequency of impacts used in the Palermo scale is the estimated long term average frequency of impacts, as a function of impact energy. The Palermo scale uses one particular model of this function, but the relationship between frequency and impact energy is known only very approximately, and other models have been published at the time of the scale's creation. Topic. Highly rated risks NASA maintains an automated system to evaluate the threat from known NEOs over the next 100 years, which generates the continuously updated Sentry Risk Table. All or nearly all of the objects are highly likely to drop off the list eventually as more observations come in, reducing the uncertainties and enabling more accurate orbital predictions. In March 2002, 1631322002 CU11 became the first asteroid with a positive rating on the Torino scale, with about a 1 in 9,300 chance of an impact in 2049. After more observations, the estimated risk was reduced to zero, and the asteroid was removed from the Sentry Risk Table in April 2002. It is now estimated with some certainty that in the next two centuries, 2002 CU11 will pass the Earth safely at a closest distance perigee of 0.00425 astronomical units, 636,000 kilometers, 395,000 miles on August 31, 2080. Asteroid 1950 DA was lost after its 1950 discovery, since its observations over just 17 days were insufficient to determine its orbit, it was rediscovered on December 31, 2000. It has a diameter of about a kilometer .6 miles. It was also observed by radar during its close approach in 2001, allowing much more precise orbit calculations. Although this asteroid will not strike for at least 800 years and thus has no Torino scale rating, it was added to the Sentry list in April 2002 because it was the first object with a Palermo scale value greater than zero. The then calculated 1 in 300 maximum chance of impact and plus 0.17 Palermo scale value was roughly 50% greater than the background risk of impact by all similarly large objects until 2880. Uncertainties in the orbit calculations were further reduced using radar observations in 2012, and this decreased the odds of an impact. Taking all radar and optical observations until 2015 into account, the probability of impact is, as of March 2018, assessed at 1 in 8,300. The corresponding Palermo scale value of minus 1.42 is still the highest for all objects on the Sentry List table. As of March 2018, only one more object 2009 FD has a Palermo scale value above minus 2 for a single impact date. On December 24, 2004, 370 meters 1,210 feet asteroid 99,942 Apophis at the time known by its provisional designation 2004 MN4 was assigned a 4 on the Torino scale, the highest rating ever given, as there was a 2.7% chance of Earth impact on April 13, 2020. 
By December 28, 2004, additional observations had produced a smaller uncertainty zone which no longer included the Earth during the 2029 approach. The 2029 risk of impact consequently dropped to zero, but later potential impact solutions were still rated 1 on the Torino scale. The 2036 risk was lowered to a Torino rating of zero in August 2006. As of March 2018, calculations show Apophis has no chance of impacting Earth before 2060. In February 2006, 144898 2004 VD17 has been assigned a Torino scale rating of 2 due to a close encounter predicted for May 4, 2102. After more precise calculations, the rating was lowered to 1 in May 2006 and 0 in October 2006, and the asteroid was removed from the Sentry Risk Table entirely in February 2008. As of March 2018, 2010 RF 12 is listed with the highest chance of impacting Earth, at 1 in 20 on September 5, 2095. At only 7 meters 23 feet across, the asteroid does not pose a serious threat, the possible 2095 impact rates only minus 3.32 on the Palermo scale. Topic. Projects to minimize the threat The first astronomical program dedicated to the discovery of near-Earth asteroids was the Palomar Planet Crossing Asteroid Survey, started in 1973 by astronomers Eugene Shoemaker and Eleanor Halen. The link to impact hazard, the need for dedicated survey telescopes and options to head off an eventual impact were first discussed at a 1981 interdisciplinary conference in Snowmass, Colorado. Plans for a more comprehensive survey, named the SpaceGuard Survey, were developed by NASA from 1992, under a mandate from the United States Congress. To promote the survey on an international level, the International Astronomical Union IAU organized a workshop at Volcano, Italy in 1995, and set up the SpaceGuard Foundation also in Italy a year later. In 1998, the United States Congress gave NASA a mandate to detect of 90% of near-Earth asteroids over 1 km .62 miles diameter that threatened global devastation by 2008. Several surveys have undertaken SpaceGuard activities an umbrella term, including Lincoln Near-Earth Asteroid Research Linear, Spacewatch, Near-Earth Asteroid Tracking NEAT, Lowell Observatory Near-Earth Object Search LONEOS, Catalina Sky Survey CSS, Campo Imperatori Near-Earth Object Survey CINEOS, Japanese SpaceGuard Association, Asiago DLR Asteroid Survey ADIS, and Near-Earth Object WISE NEOWISE. As a result, the ratio of the known and the estimated total number of near-Earth asteroids larger than 1 km in diameter rose from about 20% in 1998 to 65% in 2004, 80% in 2006, and 93% in 2011. The original SpaceGuard goal has thus been met, only three years late. As of June 12, 2018, 893 NIS nice larger than 1 km have been discovered, or 97% of an estimated total of about 920. In 2005, the original USA SpaceGuard mandate was extended by the George E. Brown Jr. Near Earth Object Survey Act, which calls for NASA to detect 90% of NEOs with diameters of 140 meters 460 feet or greater, by 2020. In January 2016, NASA announced the creation of the Planetary Defense Coordination Office PDCO to track NEOs larger than about 30 to 50 meters 98 to 164 feet in diameter and coordinate an effective threat response and mitigation effort. Survey programs aim to identify threats years in advance, giving humanity time to prepare a space mission to avert the threat. The Atlas Project, by contrast, aims to find impacting asteroids shortly before impact, much too late for deflection maneuvers but still in time to evacuate and otherwise prepare the affected Earth region. Another project, the Zwicky Transient Facility ZTF, which surveys for objects that change their brightness rapidly, also detects asteroids passing close to Earth. Scientists involved in NEO research have also considered options for actively averting the threat from an object found to be on a collision course with Earth. All viable methods aim to deflect rather than destroy the threatening NEO, because the fragments would still cause widespread destruction. Deflection, which means a change in the object's orbit months to years prior to the predicted impact, also requires orders of magnitude less energy. Topic. Number and classification 
Near-Earth objects are classified as meteoroids, asteroids, or comets depending on size and composition. Asteroids can also be members of an asteroid family, and comets create meteoroid streams that can generate meteor showers. As of September 22, 2018, according to statistics maintained by CNEOS, 18,837 NEOs have been discovered, 107 near-Earth comets and 18,730 near-Earth asteroids. There are 1,929 NEOs that are classified as potentially hazardous asteroids PHAs. Discovery is heavily influenced by the opposition effect, see diagram below. As of September 23, 2018, there are 862 NEES on the Century Impact Risk page at the NASA website. A significant number of these NEES are equal to or smaller than 50 meters in diameter and none of the listed objects are placed even in the green zone. Torino Scale 1, meaning that none warrant the attention of general public. Topic. Observational biases One problem with understanding the true number of NEOs is that existing detections are influenced by a number of factors. Observational biases need to be taken into account when trying to calculate the number of bodies in a population. There is a bias towards finding asteroids that are easier to detect, for example, it has been easier to spot objects on the night side of Earth, not only is there less noise from daylight, but it's also the sunlit side of the asteroids whereas on in the daytime sky looking towards the sun, the back side of the object is seen e.g. comparing a full moon at night to a new moon in daytime. In addition, because of opposition surge they become even brighter when the Earth is along the axis of sunlight. Finally, it's hard make observations in daylight near the sun. The light of sun hitting asteroids has been called full asteroid, similar to a full moon, and the greater amount of light creates a bias that they are easier to detect in this case. In the year 2000, it was predicted that there are 900 near Earth asteroids of at least kilometer size, taking into account known observational biases. Studies of asteroid populations try to take into account observational selection biases to make a more accurate assessment. Finding observational biases can help determine neopopulations, for example, one study noted that bodies in low eccentricity Earth-crossing orbits were favored, making the detection of Aten more favored than Apollo's, two of the biggest near-Earth objects 433 Eros and 1036 Ganymede, were also some the earliest to be detected. 1036 Ganymede is about 20 miles in diameter. As bigger asteroids they reflected more light. One way around simply finding the NEOs that reflect the most visible light is to use infrared telescopes that observe the object's heat emissions. Asteroids and other SSSB have been known to experience opposition effect or surge, which means that when viewing closer to the axis of the direction of incoming light, more light is returned. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Near-Earth asteroids. These are objects in a near-Earth orbit without the tail or coma of a comet. As of September 22, 2018, 18,730 near-Earth asteroids are known, these survive in their orbits for just a few million years. They are eventually eliminated by planetary perturbations, causing ejection from the solar system or a collision with the Sun or a planet. With orbital lifetimes short compared to the age of the solar system, new asteroids must be constantly moved into near-Earth orbits to explain the observed asteroids. The accepted origin of these asteroids is that main belt asteroids are moved into the inner solar system through orbital resonances with Jupiter. The interaction with Jupiter through the resonance perturbs the asteroid's orbit and it comes into the inner solar system. The asteroid belt has gaps, known as Kirkwood gaps, where these resonances occur as the asteroids in these resonances have been moved onto other orbits. New asteroids migrate into these resonances, due to the Yarkovsky effect that provides a continuing supply of near-Earth asteroids. Compared to the entire mass of the asteroid belt, the mass loss necessary to sustain the NEA population is relatively small, totaling less than 6% over the past 3.5 billion years. The composition of near-Earth asteroids is comparable to that of asteroids from the asteroid belt, reflecting a variety of asteroid spectral types. A small number of NEES are extinct comets that have lost their volatile surface materials, although having a faint or intermittent comet-like tail does not necessarily result in a classification as a near-Earth comet, making the boundaries somewhat fuzzy. 
The rest of the near-Earth asteroids are driven out of the asteroid belt by gravitational interactions with Jupiter. Many asteroids have natural satellites, minor planet moons. As of March 15, 2017, 66 Nice were known to have at least one moon, including three known to have two moons. The asteroid 3122 Florence, one of the largest PHAs with a diameter of 4.5 kilometers, 2.8 miles, has two moons measuring 100 to 300 meters, 330 to 980 feet across, which were discovered by radar imaging during the asteroid's 2017 approach to Earth. Topic size distribution While a small fraction of these asteroids has accurate direct diameter measurements, from radar observations, from images of the asteroid surface, or from stellar occultations, the size of the vast majority of near-Earth asteroids can only be estimated on the basis of their brightness and a representative asteroid albedo or surface reflectivity, which is commonly assumed to be 14%. Such indirect size estimates have significant uncertainties for individual asteroids, since asteroid albedos can range as low as 0.05 and as high as 0.3. Using this method, an absolute magnitude of 17.75 roughly corresponds to a diameter of 1 km and an absolute magnitude of 22.0 corresponds to a diameter of 140 m in May 2016, the precision of asteroid diameter estimates arising from the Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer and NEOWISE missions was questioned by technologist Nathan Meyervold. Although the early original criticism did not pass peer review and faced criticism for its methodology itself, a more recent peer reviewed study was subsequently published, as of May 2018, and mostly using the crude estimate from an absolute magnitude, 889 NIS listed by CNEOS, including 150. 55 PHAs, measure at least 1 km in diameter, and 8,148 known nice are larger than 140 m in diameter. The smallest known near-Earth asteroid is 2008 TS-26 with an absolute magnitude of 33.2, corresponding to a diameter of about 1 m the largest such object is 1036 Ganymede, with an absolute magnitude of 9.45 and a diameter of about 38 kilometers (24 miles). In 2000, NASA reduced its estimate of the number of existing near-Earth asteroids over 1 kilometer in diameter from 1000 to 2000 to 500 minus 1000. Shortly thereafter, the Linear Survey provided an alternative estimate of 1227 plus 170 minus 90. In 2011, on the basis of NEOWISE observations, the estimated number of 1 km Nice was narrowed to 981 plus or minus 19 of which 93% had been discovered at the time, while the number of Nice larger than 140 m across was estimated at 13,200 plus or minus 1,900. The NEOWISE estimate differed from other estimates in assuming a slightly lower average asteroid albedo, which produces larger estimated diameters for the same asteroid brightness. This resulted in 911 then known asteroids at least 1 km across, as opposed to the 830 then listed by CNEOS. In 2017, using an improved statistical method, two studies reduced the estimated number of Nice brighter than absolute magnitude 17.75, approximately over 1 km in diameter, to 921 plus or minus 20. The estimated number of asteroids brighter than absolute magnitude of 22.0, approximately over 140 meters across, rose to 27,100 plus or minus 2,200, double the wise estimate of which about a third are known as of 2018. The number of asteroids brighter than H topic 25, which corresponds to about 40 meters (130 feet) in diameter, is estimated at about 840,000 plus or minus 23,000, of which about 1.3% had been discovered by February 2016. The number of asteroids brighter than H 30, larger than 3.5 meters (11 feet), is estimated at about 400 plus or minus 100 million, of which about 0.003% had been discovered by February. 2016. Topic orbital classification Near-Earth asteroids are divided into groups based on their semi-major axis a, perihelion distance q, and aphelion distance q. .The Atiras or Apaheles have orbits strictly inside Earth's orbit, and Atira asteroids aphelion distance q is smaller than Earth's perihelion distance 0.983 astronomical units. 
That is, Q the Aetons have a semi-major axis of less than one astronomical unit and cross Earth's orbit. Mathematically, a 0.983 astronomical units. The Apollos have a semi-major axis of more than one astronomical unit and cross Earth's orbit. Mathematically, a greater than 1.0 astronomical units and Q the Amors have orbits strictly outside Earth's orbit. An Amor asteroid's perihelion distance Q is greater than Earth's aphelion distance 1.017 astronomical units. Amor asteroids are also near Earth objects, so Qateras and Amors do not cross the Earth's orbit and are not immediate impact threats, but their orbits may change to become Earth crossing orbits in the future. As of May 10, 2018, 17 Atiras, 1,342 Atons, 9,964 Apollos, and 6,813 Amors have been discovered and catalogued. Co orbital asteroids Nice on a co orbital configuration have the same orbital period as the Earth. All co-orbital asteroids have special orbits that are relatively stable and, paradoxically, can prevent them from getting close to Earth. Trojans, near the orbit of a planet, there are five gravitational equilibrium points, the Lagrangian points, in which an asteroid would orbit the Sun in fixed formation with the planet. Two of these, 60 degrees ahead and behind the planet along its orbit designated L4 and L5 respectively are stable, that is, an asteroid near these points would stay there for millions of years even if perturbed by other planets and non-gravitational forces. As of March 2018, Earth's only confirmed Trojan is 2010 7 Takas, circling Earth's L4 point. Horseshoe Labrators, the region of stability around L4 and L5 also includes orbits for co-orbital asteroids that run around both L4 and L5. Seen from Earth, the orbit can resemble the circumference of a horseshoe, or may consist of annual loops that wander back and forth librate in a horseshoe-shaped area. In both cases, the Sun is at the horseshoe's center of gravity, Earth is in the gap of the horseshoe, and L4 and L5 are inside the ends of the horseshoe. By 2016, 12 horseshoe labrators of Earth have been discovered. The most studied and, at about 5 km miles, largest is 3,753 Kruthni, which travels along bean-shaped annual loops and completes its horseshoe libration cycle every 770 to 780 years. 419624-2010 SO16 is an asteroid on a relatively stable circumference of a horseshoe orbit, with a horseshoe libration period of about 350 years. Quasi-satellites – Quasi-satellites are co-orbital asteroids on a normal elliptic orbit with a higher eccentricity than Earth's, which they travel in a way synchronized with Earth's motion. Since the asteroid orbits the Sun slower than Earth when further away and faster than Earth when closer to the Sun, when observed from Earth, the quasi-satellite appears to orbit Earth in a retrograde direction in one year, even though it is not bound gravitationally. By 2016, five asteroids were known to be a quasi-satellite of Earth. 469219-2016 HO3 is Earth's closest quasi-satellite, in an orbit that has been stable for almost a century. Orbit calculations until 2016 showed that all quasi-satellites and four of the horseshoe librators then known repeatedly transfer between horseshoe and quasi-satellite orbits. One of these objects, 2003 YN107, was observed during its transition from a quasi-satellite orbit to a horseshoe orbit in 2006. It is expected to transfer back to a quasi-satellite orbit 60 years later. Temporary satellites, NICE can also transfer between solar orbits and distant Earth orbits, becoming gravitationally bound temporary satellites. According to simulations, temporary satellites are typically caught when they pass the L1 or L2 Lagrangian points, and Earth has at least one temporary satellite 1 meter feet across at any given time, but they are too faint to detect by current surveys. As of March 2018, the only observed transition was that of asteroid 2006 RH120, which was a temporary satellite from September 2006 to June 2007 and has been on a solar orbit with a 1.003 year period ever since. According to orbital calculations, on its solar orbit, 2006 RH120 passes Earth at low speed every 20 to 21 years, at which point it can become a temporary satellite again. Topic. Meteoroids In 1961, the IAU defined meteoroids as a class of solid interplanetary objects distinct from asteroids by their considerably smaller size. 
This definition was useful at the time because, with the exception of the Tunguska event, all historically observed meteors were produced by objects significantly smaller than the smallest asteroids observable by telescopes. As the distinction began to blur with the discovery of ever smaller asteroids and a greater variety of observed NEO impacts, revised definitions with size limits have been proposed from the 1990s. In April 2017, the IAU adopted a revised definition that generally limits meteoroids to a size between 30 micrometers and 1 meter in diameter, but permits the use of the term for any object of any size that caused a meteor, thus leaving the distinction between asteroid and meteoroid blurred. Topic: <laughs> Near-Earth comets. Near-Earth comets (NECs) are objects in a near-Earth orbit with a tail or coma. Comet nuclei are typically less dense than asteroids but they pass Earth at higher relative speeds, thus the impact energy of comet nucleus is slightly larger than that of a similar-sized asteroid. NECs may pose an additional hazard due to fragmentation. The meteoroid streams which produce meteor showers may include large and active fragments, effectively NEs. Nice. Although no impact of a comet in Earth's history has been conclusively confirmed, the Tunguska event may have been caused by a fragment of comet Ang. Comets are commonly divided between short period and long period comets. Short period comets, with an orbital period of less than 200 years, originated in the Kuiper Belt, beyond the orbit of Neptune, while long period comets originate in the Oort Cloud, in the outer reaches of the Solar System. The orbital period distinction is of importance in the evaluation of the risk from near-Earth comets because short-period NECs are likely to have been observed during multiple apparitions and thus their orbits can be determined with some precision, while long-period NECs can be assumed to have been seen for the first and last time when they appeared during the age of science, thus their approaches cannot be predicted well in advance. Since the threat from long-period NECs is estimated to be at most 1% of the threat from NEs, and long-period comets are very faint and thus difficult to detect at large distances from the Sun, spaceguard efforts consistently focused on asteroids and short-period comets. CNEOS even restricts its definition of NECs to short-period comets, as of May 10, 2018, 107 such objects have been discovered. As of March 2018, only 20 comets have been observed to pass within zero. One astronomical unit, 15 million kilometers, 9,300,000 miles of Earth, including 10 which are or have been short-period comets. Two of these comets, Halley's Comet and 73P, Schwarzman-Wachmann, have been observed during multiple close approaches. The closest observed approach was 0.0151 astronomical units, 5.88 LD, for Lexell's comet on July 1, 1770. After an orbit change due to a close approach of Jupiter in 1779, this object is no longer a NEC. The closest approach ever observed for a current short period NEC is 0.0229 astronomical units, 8.92 LD, for comet Temple Tuttle in 1366. This comet is the parent body of the Leonid meteor shower, which also produced the Great Meteor Storm of 1833. Orbital calculations show that P. 1999 J6 Soho, a faint sungrazing comet and confirmed short period NEC observed only during its close approaches to the Sun, passed Earth undetected at a distance of 0.0121 astronomical units, 4.70 LD, on June 12, 1999. Comet 109P, Swift Tuttle, which is also the source of the Perseid meteor shower which hits Earth every year in August, has a roughly 130 year orbit which passes close to the Earth. After the comet's 1992 return, when only the two previous returns in 1862 and 1737 have been identified, orbital calculations showed that the comet would pass very close to Earth during its next return in 2126, with an impact within the range of uncertainty. By 1993, even earlier returns back to at least 188 AD have been identified, and the new orbital calculation eliminated the impact risk, predicting the comet to pass Earth in 2126 at a distance of 24 million kilometers. In 3044, the comet is expected to pass Earth at less than 1.6 million kilometers. Topic: <laughs> Artificial near-Earth objects. Defunct space probes and final stages of rockets can end up in near-Earth orbits around the Sun, and be rediscovered by NEO surveys when they return to Earth's vicinity. 
In September 2002, astronomers found an object designated J002E3. The object was on a temporary satellite orbit around Earth, leaving for a solar orbit in June 2003. Calculations showed that it was also on a solar orbit before 2002, but was close to Earth in 1971. J002E3 was identified as the third stage of the Saturn V rocket that carried Apollo 12 to the Moon. In 2006, two more apparent temporary satellites were discovered which were suspected of being artificial. One of them was eventually confirmed as an asteroid and classified as the temporary satellite 2006 RH120. The other, 6QOB44E, was confirmed as an artificial object, but its identity is unknown. Another confirmed artificial temporary satellite with unidentified origin is 2013 QW1. In some cases, active space probes on solar orbits have been observed by NEO surveys and erroneously catalogued as asteroids before identification. During its 2007 flyby of Earth on its route to a comet, ESA's space probe Rosetta was detected unidentified and classified as asteroid 2007 VN84, with an alert issued due to its close approach. The designation 2015 HP116 was similarly removed from asteroid catalogs when the observed object was identified with Gaia, ESA's Space Observatory for Astrometry. Impacts When a near-Earth object impacts Earth, objects up to a few tens of meters across ordinarily explode in the upper atmosphere usually harmlessly, with most or all of the solids vaporized, while larger objects hit the water surface, forming waves, or the solid surface, forming impact craters. The frequency of impacts of objects of various sizes is estimated on the basis of orbit simulations of NEO populations, the frequency of impact craters on the Earth and the Moon, and the frequency of close encounters. The study of impact craters indicates that impact frequency has been more or less steady for the past 3.5 billion years, which requires a steady replenishment of the NEO population from the asteroid main belt. One impact model based on widely accepted NEO population models estimates the average time between the impact of two stony asteroids with a diameter of at least 4 meters 13 feet at about one year, for asteroids 7 meters 23 feet across, which impacts with as much energy as the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima, approximately 15 kilotons of TNT at five years, for asteroids 60 meters 200 feet across an impact energy of 10 megatons, comparable to the Tunguska event in 1908 at 1,300 years, for asteroids 1 km miles across at half a million years, and for asteroids 5 km miles across at 18 million years. Some other models estimate similar impact frequencies, while others calculate higher frequencies. For Tunguska-sized impacts, there are estimates of one event every 2,000 to 3,000 years and one event every 300 years. The second largest observed impact after the Tunguska meteor was a 1.1 megaton air blast near the Prince Edward Islands off the coast of South Africa in 1963, which was detected only by infrasound sensors. The third largest but most observed impact was the Chelyabinsk meteor of February 15, 2013. A 20 m 66 feet asteroid exploded with the equivalent blast yield of 400 to 500 kilotons. The calculated orbit of the pre-impact asteroid is similar to that of Apollo asteroid 2011 EO40, making the latter the meteor's possible parent body. On October 7, 2008, 19 hours after it has been first observed, 4 meters (13 feet) asteroid 2008 TC3 blew up 37 kilometers (23 miles) above the Nubian Desert in Sudan. It was the first time that an asteroid was observed and its impact had been predicted prior to its entry into the atmosphere as a meteor. 10.7 kilograms of meteorites were recovered after the impact on January 2, 2014, just 21 hours after it was the first asteroid to be discovered in 2014. 2 to 4 meters 2014 AA blew up in Earth's atmosphere above the Atlantic Ocean. Far from any land, the meteor explosion was only observed by three infrasound detectors of the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty Organization. This impact was the second to be predicted in advance. Asteroid impact prediction is, however, in its infancy, and successfully predicted asteroid impacts are rare. The vast majority of impacts recorded by infrasound sensors designed to detect detonation of nuclear devices are not predicted in advance. 
Observed impacts aren't restricted to the surface and atmosphere of Earth. Dust-sized NEOs have impacted man-made spacecraft, including NASA's Long Duration Exposure Facility, which collected interplanetary dust in low Earth orbit for six years from 1984. Impacts on the Moon can be observed as flashes of light with a typical duration of a fraction of a second. The first lunar impacts were recorded during the 1999 Leonid storm. Subsequently, several continuous monitoring programs were launched. As of March 2018, the largest observed lunar impact occurred on September 11, 2013, lasted 8 seconds, and was likely caused by an object 0.6 to 1.4 meters to feet in diameter. Topic. Close approaches Each year, several mostly small NEOs pass Earth closer than the distance of the Moon. On August 10, 1972, a meteor that became known as 1972 Great Daylight Fireball was witnessed by many people. It moved north over the Rocky Mountains from the U.S. southwest to Canada. It was an Earth grazing meteoroid that passed within 57 kilometers 35 miles of the Earth's surface, and was filmed by a tourist at the Grand Teton National Park in Wyoming with an 8 mm color movie camera. On October 13, 1990, Earth grazing meteoroid EN131090 was observed above Czechoslovakia and Poland, moving at 41.74 km per second. 25. 94 miles per second along a 409 kilometers 254 miles trajectory from south to north the closest approach to the earth was 98.67 kilometers 61.31 miles above the surface it was captured by two all sky cameras of the european fireball network which for the first time enabled geometric calculations of the orbit of such a body on march 18 2004 linear announced that a 30 meters 98 feet asteroid 2004 fh would pass the earth that day at only 42600 kilometers 26500 miles about one tenth the distance to the moon and the closest miss ever noticed until then they estimated that similar sized asteroids come as close about every two years. On March 31, 2004, two weeks after 2004 FH, 2004 FU 162 set a new record for closest recorded approach above the atmosphere, passing Earth's surface only 6,500 kilometres away, about one Earth radius or one sixtieth of the distance to the Moon. Because it was very small, 6 meters 20 feet, FU162 was detected only hours before its closest approach. If it had collided with Earth, it probably would have disintegrated harmlessly in the atmosphere. On February 4, 2011, an asteroid designated 2011 CQ1, estimated at 0.8 to 2.6 meters (2.6 to 8.5 feet) in diameter, passed within 5,500 kilometers (3,400 miles) of the Earth, setting a new record for closest approach without impact, which still stands as of September 2018. On November 8, 2011, asteroid 3086. 35-2005YU55, relatively large at about 360 meters (1180 feet) in diameter, passed within 324,600 kilometers (201,700 miles) 0.85 lunar distances of Earth. On February 15, 2013, the 30 meters (98 feet) asteroid 367,943 Duende 2012 DA14 passed approximately 27,000 700 kilometers 17200 miles above the surface of earth closer than satellites in geosynchronous orbit the asteroid was not visible to the unaided eye this was the first close passage of an object discovered during a previous passage and was thus the first to be predicted well in advance topic <laughs> exploratory missions Some NEOs are of special interest because they can be physically explored with lower mission velocity than is necessary for even the Moon, due to their combination of low velocity with respect to Earth and weak gravity. They may present interesting scientific opportunities both for direct geochemical and astronomical investigation, and as potentially economical sources of extraterrestrial materials for human exploitation. This makes them an attractive target for exploration. Topic. Missions to Nice The IAU held a Minor Planets workshop in Tucson, Arizona, in March 1971. 
At that point, launching a spacecraft to asteroids was considered premature. The workshop only inspired the first astronomical survey specifically aiming for Nice. Missions to asteroids were considered again during a workshop at the University of Chicago held by NASA's Office of Space Science in January 1978. Of all of the near-Earth asteroids NEA that had been discovered by mid-1977, it was estimated that spacecraft could rendezvous with and return from only about 1 in 10 using less propulsive energy than is necessary to reach Mars. It was recognized that due to the low surface gravity of all Nice, moving around on the surface of a NEA would cost very little energy, and thus space probes could gather multiple samples. Overall, it was estimated that about 1% of all Nice might provide opportunities for human crewed missions, or no more than about 10 Nice known at the time. A five-fold increase in the NEA discovery rate was deemed necessary to make a manned mission within 10 years worthwhile. The first near-Earth asteroid to be visited by a spacecraft was 17 kilometers (11 miles) asteroid 433 Eros when NASA's near-Earth asteroid rendezvous near probe orbited it from February 2001, landing on the asteroid surface in February 2002. A second near-Earth asteroid, the 535 meters (1,755 feet) long peanut-shaped 25,143 Itakawa, was visited in September 2005 by JAXA's Hayabusa mission, which succeeded in taking material samples back to Earth. A third near-Earth asteroid, the 2.26 kilometers (1.40 miles) long elongated 4,179 Tutatis, was explored by CNSA's Chang'e 2 spacecraft during a flyby in December 2012. The 980 meters (3,220 feet) Apollo asteroid 162,173 Ryugu is the target of JAXA's Hayabusa 2 mission. The space probe was launched in December 2014, is expected to arrive at the asteroid in June 2018, and to return a sample to Earth in December 2020. The 500 meters (1,600 feet) Apollo asteroid 101,955 Bennu, which, as of March 2018, has the second highest cumulative Palermo scale rating (minus 1.71) for several close encounters between 2,175 and 2,199, is the target of NASA's OSIRIS-REx probe. The New Frontiers program mission was launched in September 2016. On its two-year journey to Bennu, the probe is searching for Earth's Trojan asteroids, will rendezvous with Bennu in August 2018, and will return samples from the asteroid in September 2023. In April 2012, the company Planetary Resources announced its plans to mine asteroids commercially. In a first phase, the company reviewed data and selected potential targets among Nice. In a second phase, space probes would be sent to the selected Nice, mining spacecraft would be sent in a third phase. Planetary Resources launched two testbed satellites in April 2015 and January 2018, and the first prospecting satellite for the second phase is planned for a 2020 launch. Topic. Missions to NECs The first near-Earth comet visited by a space probe was 21P, Jacobini Zinner in 1985, when the NASA, ESA probe International Cometary Explorer ICE passed through its coma. In March 1986, ICE, along with Soviet probes Vega 1 and Vega 2, ISAS probes Sakigaki and Susei and ESA probe Jado flew by the nucleus of Halley's Comet. In 1992, Giotto also visited another NEC, 26P, Grig Skjellerup. In November 2010, the NASA probe Deep Impact flew by the near Earth comet 103P, Hartley. Earlier, in July 2005, this probe flew by the non near Earth comet Temple 1, hitting it with a large copper mass. In August 2014, ESA probe Rosetta began orbiting near Earth comet 67P, Churimov Gerasimenko, while its lander finally landed on its surface in November 2014. After the end of its mission, Rosetta was crashed into the comet's surface in 2016. Topic. See also Topic. References Topic. External links Center for Near-Earth Object Studies CNEOS Jet Propulsion Laboratory, NASA Table of Asteroids Next Closest Approaches to the Earth, Sormano Astronomical Observatory 
Earth in the Cosmic Shooting, D.J. Asher, The Observatory, 2005 Catalogue of the Solar System Small Bodies Orbital Evolution, Samara State Technical University Current map of the Solar System, Armagh Observatory Minor Planet Center The NEO Confirmation Page Minor Planet Center, Asteroid Hazards, Part 2, The Challenge of Detection on YouTube Min, 714 Minor Planet Center, Asteroid Hazards, Part 3, Finding the Path on YouTube Min, 538